Hello, this is Stephanie Sear coming to you from the Jacob Edwards Library, and today we're going to be reading three pieces by the author May Sarton. May Sarton was a novelist and an essayist, and she spent her later years in the woods of New Hampshire. So we're going to revisit some of her writings from this book called From May Sarton's Well. It's the writings of May Sarton and selections and photographs by Edith Royce Shade. We'll begin with The Phoenix Again. The Phoenix Again. On the ashes of this nest, love wove with deathly fire, the phoenix takes its rest, forgetting all desire. After the flame, a pause. After the pain, rebirth. Obeying nature's laws, the phoenix goes to earth. You cannot call it old, you cannot call it young. No phoenix can be told, this is the end of song. It struggles now alone against death and self-doubt, but underneath the bone, the wings are pushing out. And one cold starry night, whatever your belief, the phoenix will take flight over the seas of grief. To sing her thrilling song to stars and waves and sky, for neither old nor young, the phoenix does not die. The second piece I'm going to share with you today is a uh, writing by Ms. Sartin. This is a piece that I have revisited over the last 20 years or so when I was first introduced to it and it has great meaning and I hope you enjoy it as well. It is a mellow day, very gentle. The ash has lost its leaves and when I went out to get the mail and stopped to look up at it, I rejoice to think that soon everything here will be honed down to structure. It is all a rich farewell now to leaves, to color. I think of the trees and how simply they let go. Let fall the riches of a season, how without grief, it seems, they can let go and go deep into the roots for renewal and sleep. Does anything in nature despair except man? An animal with a foot caught in a trap does not seem to despair. It is too busy trying to survive. It is all closed in to a kind of still, intense waiting. Is this a key? Keep busy with survival. Imitate the trees. Learn to lose in order to recover. And remember that nothing stays the same for long. Not even pain, psychic pain. Sit it out. Let it all pass. Let it go. The third piece I'm going to share is just some small thoughts that came to May's mind. She lived in solitude in the woods of New Hampshire and she reflected a great deal on what the differences between solitude and loneliness were for her. She also wrote about creation and the creation, creative spirit. If you are a writer or an artist, it is work that fulfills and makes you come into wholeness. And that goes on through a lifetime. Whatever the wounds that have to heal, the moment of creation assures that all is well. And one is still in tune with the universe, that the inner chaos can be probed and distilled into order and beauty. Thank you for spending time with us today. My name is Stephanie Sear. I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Jacob Edwards Library, and we hope to see you all very soon.